Hi everyone, my name is Charlotte and I'm going to talk to you a bit about the panoramic key cap method and translating it to the clinic today. So cochlear implants are neuroprosthetic devices that provide auditory perception to a person with severe to profound hearing loss. There are over a million of these worldwide, 2,000 new ones are implanted in the UK each year. Most people obtain good speech perception with these devices and some enjoy music. But there's a lot of variability between users, both in their hearing pathology and their speech perception. And one of the things that impacts that is the electroneuron interface. And there are two primary factors affecting this interface. And the first is the health of the auditory nerve. You might have healthy nerves along the entire cochlea, but you might also have patches of unhealthy nerves that don't respond to electrical stimulation very well. Uh, and you can also have um, differences in spread of electrical currents. You might be stimulating near a patch of healthy nerves, but you might be stimulating near a patch of unhealthy nerves and need to increase the current quite a lot in order to achieve a percept. And these can then overlap um, in adjacent electrode channels. Um, and both of these, these attributes uh, uh, interact with each other and impact the efficiency of delivering auditory information to the nerves through the implant. And they can be a bit like blurring uh, an auditory stimulus. So since there's great variation between patients, how can we characterize this? Um, I do this with the panoramic ECAP method. It takes a plethora of ECAP measurements, which are measurements of the responsiveness of auditory nerves to electrical stimulation within the cochlea. I do this in pairs, and I create the data set that looks a little bit like um, the data on the left. And I put that into um, an algorithm that estimates the spread of electrical, electrical current along the length of the electrode array, as well as um, the neural responsiveness along the length of the array that can vary. Um, so we validated this method um, in a number of different ways, and you can check out this, these papers if you're interested in more details. And we hope that in the future we could take someone's cochlea that looks a little bit like this with their implant stimulated, um, use the panoramic key cap estimates to um, decide which electrodes to switch off and optimize the program for this little girl to bring her world into sharper focus. Um, but these measurements take a lot of time to record. So we've published a method that speeds up this process to eight minutes, but it runs in the command line and is not appropriate to be running in the clinic because it's also through a research interface. So we've developed a new method, um, a new website that allows you to collect this data for cochlear devices through custom sound EP. Um, so through the clinical software and analyze the data that you collect uh, without any need for additional software. So if you want to hear a little bit more about that, come check out my talk.